Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are putting the TC to work and doing 60 hats. They each get different logos. So 20 get this logo that says the carriage house. These 20 get this logo that says the boat house. And then these 20 get that same FDF logo that you've seen in a lot of my recent videos. So we are gonna put the TC to the test today, see how fast we can get these done. I'm really excited. It's been a while since I've had to do a bunch of hats. I've done, you know, one-offs here and there, but it's been a while since I've had like a big bulk order of hats. So I'm ready to do this and get going. A fun thing about these hats is they each have a logo that goes on the very back of the hat. So the boathouse ones get this little boat on the back. The carriage house one gets this fun old car. And then the FDF gets the same, just little mini FDF on the back. So I haven't decided yet how I'm going to do those on the back. I might, to save time while this is going on hats, do them on my EM1010, just get them done really fast. And then that way, you know, we've got like an assembly line going. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. We'll just have to see how it goes. So I'm going to start with just one at a time. I think I'm going to start with just the basic FDF ones first. So I'm gonna put these to the side. We'll start with one, get them all done, do the next, get that whole logo done, do the third, get that whole logo done. That way we're not going back and forth a whole bunch of different times. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this work with me and let's see what this TC can do. Okay, I guess it doesn't matter whether we do like the flat bill or the curved first, but all of the designs are going on the front left panel of each of the hats. So I'm just going to use my little printout and line it up where I want it and get it on the machine. Now the nice part about having two machines is each machine comes with two cap hoops. So I'm able to get four hats hooped and ready to go at one time, which is really nice. It's gonna save me a lot of time and then I can just keep it going. So I'm going to place my design and get them hooped. Just so that we can time ourselves, it is 12 14. Let's see how long it takes to do these. I've got three of them hooped and ready to go. I already did one just so I could make sure I like the placement and it turned out beautiful.
Okay, so I have finished the front on all of the FDF ones, the 10 curved bill and the 10 flat bill. I've done a couple with the logo on the back, I'm just testing out the fast frames and seeing if I like this method. And so far, I think it's going to be the best and the easiest. So there we have it. Absolutely perfect. I think it turned out great. So I'm going to finish the FDF on the back of these. I don't think I'm going to film it just because it's too hard to move everything and, and you know, film it and move and, and everything else. So I'm using this small fast frame and I'm measuring them all the exact same using a ruler. Basically what I'm doing, basically what I'm doing when I put it on is I measure it from the bottom, making sure they are all exactly the same. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish all of these and then we'll move on to the boathouse. It was 12.15 when we started and now it's 1.50. I did have to stop and get lunch myself and feed my kids lunch. So that did take a little bit of time, but I think we're making really good time getting all these done. So let's go ahead and finish the backs on all of these. You guys, I'm so dumb. So I was getting so frustrated and I kept having thread breaks right here and I was like, what is going on? Why is it just shredding my thread? I changed my needle. You guys, hopefully you can see that. I left in the freaking cardboard. Oh my gosh, you guys. So it's a good thing I bought extras just in case I mess up. <laughs> uh, leave me a comment down below and let me know if you've ever done that so that I know that I am not alone. What a rookie, rookie move, you guys. Look at that. <laughs> oh, man. No wonder. Okay, hopefully you guys can hear me okay over the machine. It is 6.09 right now. I have just about eight more to do. 
of these ones, but I have finished all of these, the carriage house on the flat bill, uh, or on the curved bill, sorry, the flat bill is what I have left. I finished the boat house front on both the flat and the curved. All of these ones on the table over here still need the logo on the back, that's why I have these separate, but I did finish all of the FDF ones, both front and back and they all look really really clean i'm really really happy with how they turned out i'm really happy with my timing on this i was able to finish almost all 60 of them in six hours so that's about 10 hats an hour which i think is great considering i'm only doing this on one machine and then doing the backs on the fast frames has helped a lot too so i will finish the rest of these i might finish the fronts tonight i'm not sure um, if not, I'll finish them in the morning and then finish the backs really quick. So I will see you guys in the morning. Okay guys, I'm gonna try and show you how I'm doing the back of these. It's a little awkward with the camera right in front of me, but we're gonna, we're gonna figure it out. So I have my sticky stabilizer that I'm putting on the back of the fast frame, like this. Flip it over and you could either tear off these extra edges I just fold them over. Okay. So have ready to go binder clips. Um, I have three. I put one back here on each side and then one in the front like this. So we're going to grab our hat and we are going to embroider on the back right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the sweatband and flip it out. Now this seam right here is what I am lining up with the V notch right here at the top of the frame so that I know where center is. So I'm basically just gonna go in front and line it up as straight as I can. It was way too hard to do with the camera right in the way. So I'm just gonna show you now that I have it done. So you can see the center V notch on the fast frame is perfectly in line with this seam right here. I have it clipped on the sides and flattened out as much as possible. I'm not paying attention to the angle of the sweatband. That might look a little crooked. I am only concerned with the center seam. We're gonna stitch it about an inch from the bottom right here. So once we get it onto the machine, I'll show you how I measure it. So as you can see, since we are doing it on the bottom right here, we have to flip our design upside down. So as you can see, that's what I did. Okay, so right now I need to change it to needle number one. So that needle number one is, since needle number one is always what you trace with, I just switch it over to needle number one and I'm going to center on the seam. And I know you're at an angle right now and probably can't really tell, but I need to move my hat over just a little bit. I want this perfectly centered on my seam right there. And now I'm going to take, you can use whatever ruler you want. I'm going to use this one. And I am going to line up my needle with the 11 right here because I want it one inch from the bottom. So I need to go back just a little bit. So holding my ruler, I'm going to go back a little bit until my needle number one is lined up with the 11 where I want it. Then we're going to trace and then contour. Make sure it doesn't hit the edges, which it shouldn't. It is good to go. Perfect, and now we are going to stitch it out. Okay, so it finished stitching, so now we can take it off. Just tear it, tear off that little bit. Fold the sweatband back over, and there we have it, perfectly centered on the seam, and looks beautiful. So I have one more FDF to do. Um, these, these three actually were extras that they had provided. How sweet is that tan with navy? So this will get a navy boat on the back. Um, so I just have one more FDF to do on the back of this one, and then we will go ahead and do the old car and the boat.
guys, that's going to do it for this video. 60 hats, front and back, all done. There's technically 63. There were three that he had added on that he purchased, but these were the 60 that he bought through me. So I think that they turned out great. I only had a couple issues. The one that you guys saw, I left the cardboard on the inside. So that was fun, but they all got their back logos and they all turned out great. I'm very happy with how my TC ran all of these and how my EM1010 did the back. The fast frames came in clutch to get the back done. So if you haven't invested in those, do it. Um, they are definitely worth having in your embroidery arsenal. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video embroidering 60 hats with me and I will see you guys next time.